everyone, this is Lauren McLeod with Mermaid Trash and with just a little help from Michaels today, I'm going to give you a very special behind the scenes look at my home studio as well as give you some great tips on how to stay organized, inspired, as well as some wonderful insider resources on that all important art side hustle. The main part of my home studio is approximately 11 feet by 14 feet. Space-wise, it's definitely the more common size used by many home studios. However, I've been able to grow Mermaid Trash into a fully inclusive art brand within this space by implementing these awesome organizing techniques that I'm going to share with you now. Set yourself up for success by starting to plan for the now and the future. Carefully measure your space and plan how every inch will be used. Modular cubbies, shelves, and organizers are perfect for every studio to be able to start small and go big. By planning ahead, you can buy one piece of furniture at a time and grow into your space as needed. Here in my studio, the real stars of the show are my modular mobile panel towers by Simply Tidy. It holds all my work in progress, which changes in size all the time. So these were the perfect storage because it features two permanent shelves and three adjustable panels with 13 optional positions for all different kinds of storage needs. You can also purchase additional adjustable panels to add more shelves, and these units can also be stacked and combined with other Simply Tidy cubes and accessories to truly customize your room's layout. Since going vertical is a great way to utilize small spaces, modular cubbies and shelves are a great choice for any size artist. So don't forget when measuring to also consider all that your wall spaces have to offer when selecting what style of shelves or cubbies will be best for you. When organizing, think retail, which means face all your labels out towards you so that they can be easily read and seen at a glance. Any bins that you can't see inside of, make sure that you're storing similar objects or craft supplies in. Remember, the point of organizing is not to hide things from yourself. Finally, don't get in the habit of organizing things on top of your workspace. Try and keep it free and clear of anything that you're not immediately working on so that you can stay focused and productive. I like to do this by using my rolling cart from Recollections and basically I just throw everything on the cart that I'm going to be using for a project or that I'm going to need and I roll it around the room as I need it and it's always there for me keeping my workspace free of distractions. Getting your studio organized in the right way isn't just a great way to keep it clean, it'll also help aid you in your creative processes by making you more efficient, which is so important when making the transition from art hobby to art business. So my final tip to you would be to keep your goals and future in mind when planning your creative spaces, because today's side hustle may just one day be your full-time job. So get to it, get organizing, and do so by visiting your local Michaels store or michaels.com. And for more art tips and projects, come and visit me over at www.mermaidtrash.com. Happy creating, and I hope to see you soon.